For the first Math Counts Mini of 2010, I'm taking a special request. A lot of the students asked me to do a mini on the 2009 state target round number eight. And here's the prop. Oh my goodness. They asked for this? This is ridiculous, eight lines long. Forget it, I'll see you in February. You, you, you're still here. It was you. You asked for this? See, it's like 150 words. I mean, I, I don't even understand. Uh, this is what I get for waiting until the last minute. You know, I was kind of running a little late on this month's Math Counts Mini, and so I just grabbed, grabbed the one that all the kids have been asking for, and this is what I get? I don't even understand it. Eight lines. What are we going to do? Um, uh, uh, props. Props. We need props. Integers 1 through 16. Okay. 16 numbers. I'm going to have to put them in order. That'll buy me some time. Buy me some time. I'm, I'm actually you know, letting you have time to, to read the question here. Uh, we start with integers 1, 1 through 16, separate slips of paper, and these are all like in a big pile. And, and Jillian will randomly take slips out of this, this pile, and she'll, she'll keep going, and we want to see how many slips she can pull out at most before she ends up with, with two slips that multiply to a perfect square. A 16, uh-oh, I'm missing a 9. Uh, oh, here's 9. 9... 10. Okay, so we're going to start with 16 numbers, and we want to know if she just keeps pulling out numbers at random, what's the most that she could pull out, 14, 15, 16, at least I can still count, what's the most that she can pull out before she gets 2, then multiply to give a perfect square. And now that we have all these numbers, we can see, um, we, we can see, uh, I don't see anything. Uh, more props. Ah, uh, props. Uh, monkeys! Monkeys! Yeah, yeah, monkeys. Okay. Okay, got some monkeys. Monkeys here. Um, we need monkeys. We got red monkeys, green monkeys, and blue monkeys. And, and the monkeys will help us with this problem, because this problem, this problem, uh, has, has no monkeys. No monkeys. Uh, 16 numbers. What are we going to do? A uh, little long, long-winded problem, kind of complicated. I really don't understand it. Uh, one of my favorite strategies is to try to make the problem a little easier. So how can we make this a little easier? Don't really quite understand these five lines down here, but, well, 16 is a big number. What would happen if we got rid of the 16 and replaced it with something smaller? Smaller, like say, <laughs> two, 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 less than 16. So if we just go one through two, and, and we'll just, you know, move these numbers over here. Forget about those numbers for a minute. One through two. So we have one through two written on a slip of paper, and Jillian's going to draw the numbers at random, and we want to see how many she can draw. Okay, so she draws at random. She could draw the one and then the two, or the two and then the one. doesn't really matter. She's going to draw until... She has a product of two of them that's a perfect square. Well, one times two is two. That's not a perfect square. So she can draw them both. So the maximum number of slips she could draw for one through two, that's just two. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So two, we can handle two. Get rid of two. Let's try three. One through three. And oh, that's 13. There's three. One through three. And she's going to draw them one at a time and see how many she can draw until she gets a pair that multiplies to a perfect square. Uh, let's see if she draw, drew the 2 and then the 1. 1 times 2, not a perfect square. 1, 2, and 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is still 2. Hasn't changed. No perfect square. She can draw all 3. So, well, still, still not really sure what's going on here. Maybe she can always draw all the numbers. Maybe this is just a trick question. Well, we've got it. We've got it for three. We know that if numbers one through three, 
she can draw all three slips. So there you go. There's three. Let's try. Let's try four. One through four. All right. Here we go. If you're just drawing the numbers, well, let's pretend we're Jillian. Draw one, three. One times three is three. Not a perfect square. Four. Four times three is twelve. That's okay. Four times one is four. That's a perfect square. Uh oh. Um, she can't draw the one and the four. But she can. We know. We know she can do one, two, and three. So she she can draw three of the four numbers, but she can't draw all four. So if there are four slips of paper, the largest number of slips she can draw is just three. She can't draw four. She'll draw the one and the four. One times four is four. So unfortunately, it's not just a trick question with an easy answer. And I, hmm. Well, okay. That's four. We know how to deal with four. Let's try five. Um, I'm still feeling kind of stuck, and I sure wish the monkeys had helped. Um, all right, five. If we bring in the five. Well, we can go ahead and include the five with the one, two, and three. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five, ten, and fifteen. None of those is a perfect square. So if she draws one, two, three, and five, she won't have any pair that multiplies out to a perfect square. So if we have the numbers 1 through 5, we can draw 4 of them. We still can't have the 1 and the 4 together. That takes care of 5. All right, let's try 6. Um, 6, 6. Let's see. Once again, we can't have the 1 and the 4, but we can have the 1 and 2 and 3 and the 5, just like we did when there were only 5 numbers. And we can just go ahead and toss in the 6. Because 6 times 5, not a perfect square. 6 times 3. 18, not a perfect square. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 1 is 6. No squares there. So we draw these five numbers. No two of these multiplies to a square. We throw in the 4, we get a square. So if the numbers are 1 through 6, the answer to the problem is 5. Maybe the only number we have to throw out is 4. Let's see. So that gets, that gets rid of that. We're going to try, try 1 through 6. Let's try 7. 7 still comes after 6. And sure enough, we can go ahead and include that. 7 times 6, 7 times 5, 7 times 3, 7 times 2, 7 times 1. None of those is a perfect square. We already knew when we had these five numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. No two of them multiplied to a perfect square, so we toss in the 7. And here we go, numbers 1 through 7. We can draw six of them without getting a pair that multiplies to a perfect square. So maybe 4 is the only one we have to throw out. Let's try 8. All right. 8. 1 through 8. And we take the 8 here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can just stick that in there like we did the others. So we got 1 times 8 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. I thought we had something there. I didn't even have to use the monkeys. I thought I was going to get the answer, but I can't have the 8 and the 2. Because the 8 and the 2, they multiply together to give 16. So if I draw the 2 and the 8, I get a perfect square. So I have to leave one of them out. Just like I have to leave one of the 1 and the 4 out. So the most, the most I can get is these six numbers. The most I can get is six numbers, and no two of these multiply. No two of these down here multiply to give a perfect square. Now I could swap. Let's see, I could swap the four out for the one. Yeah, maybe that works. But let's see. I mean, we have a nice pattern here. Four's out, eight's out. Maybe it's just the multiples of four we need to leave out. Let's see. The next multiple four would be twelve. 12 and 7, nope, not a perfect square, not a perfect square. 3 times 12 is 36. That's 6 squared, so we couldn't put 12 in either. Maybe we're on to something. All right, well, let's check a little bit more and, and make sure. Get rid of the 8 and 9. All right, we're ready for 9. Let's see here. Bring in the 9. And let's see, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 6 is 54, those aren't squares, 9 times 5 45, 9 times 3 27, not a square, 9 times 2 18, not a square, 9 times 1 is 9, which is not... Ah! That's a square. I thought we had it with the 4 thing, or just leave out all the multiples of 4, but I can't put 9 in, because I've already got the 1, and 9 times 1, that's a perfect square. Oh, I thought we had it. What are we doing?